let's continue on with our Spider-Man playthrough. We're going to... Oh god, our outfit is badass. We're going to, uh... Investigate Mr. Lee. Do some snooping. Sneaking around his office, etc. Which will be cool. <clears throat> is that really him? Yeah, it's really us. <clears throat> let's see, let's see. Hey, we're running another piece on Jefferson Davis, and it made me wonder, how's his son Miles doing? Not good. I've been there. The loss is all you can think uh -huh. about. He needs something to do outside of school. Maybe a part-time job? That's not a bad idea. <clears throat> but it has to be the right job. Something that makes him feel useful, like what he's doing matters. Kind yeah. Of like you just described Feast. MJ, that's perfect. I'll talk to May about it. That's what I'm here for. Let's go. <clears throat> See if we can get Miles inducted into the Feast Brotherhood. Uh. Controller disconnected. Oh no. Oh no. There we go, Spider Man. You can be happy again. <clears throat> My poor controller. Check it out. With its low, low battery. Ah, I should just fast travel there, really. Let's do it. We've really come a long way in our 100%ing. <clears throat> I think we're like 55% done right now, total. Which is not too shabby for where we are in the game. Not too shabby at all. Right. Let's go and snoop on Mr. Lee. Snooping as usual. Go, go, Spidey Rangers. Do, 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 do. Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? <laughs> Me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just <clears throat> having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to uh, stay busy. It might help him too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No, why? Just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know. I want to. You don't want to. Don't lie to Aunt May. You want to snoop around. Be honest about it. I should check out Lee's office. Oh, what a loving nephew I have, wanting to help out. Meanwhile, he's like, right, let's break in. Glad to see you're okay. Hanging in there. Who's leaving a mess everywhere? All right, you actually can help out. Huh, spills cleaned. Well, I'll be damned. Okay, let's help out. I didn't realize that was actually an option. Let's do it. <clears throat> let's look for more spills and other stuff we can do. If we're 100%ing, let's 100%, right? If I had powers. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm alright. <clears throat> Be much happier if you guys weren't messing up the place. Can't fall asleep. That's when they get you. Wish Is Mr. It? Lee would come back. He always knew what to do. <laughs> they kept Uncle Ben's clothes a long time. It's like he was still looking out for her. What's this I know. It spills everywhere. I gave you my paperwork yesterday. I, I've been clean for like two months. You're not talking to anyone, dude. There's nobody here. Everyone's crazy in this place. <clears throat> Let's go find that third Can't spell. Without checking out these office. Don't worry. We're gonna get some good boy, good boy points first by cleaning up spells. <sighs> Where is it? This bin needs emptying. Look at that. It's full of newspapers. Where are you, garbage? Garbage man, garbage man, does whatever a garbage can. <clears throat> Everyone feels hopeless at some point. Helps to know there's somebody willing to listen. Yeah. But it takes the edge off a bit when they're listening to everyone. Okay. Where is it? Mm. They need to be more blatant with their mess. <laughs> I heard the deputy mayor was brainwashed. You heard the deputy mayor was brainwashed. Interesting. Where are you, garbage? Yo, mate, where's the garbage at? <clears throat> hey, homeless lady. I'm just a little banged up. How are you doing? Not bad. Your aunt's been helping me with my interview skills. I don't know. I'm not sure I'm... Yeah, I don't care. I'm just looking for the garbage. <clears throat> Lee's office is tempting me. Yeah, I was. Thanks. I appreciate it. Ah, uh, we're never going to find this damn thing. <clears throat> I feel like I've looked everywhere. I know a man who can handle the round city hall. Feel like I've looked everywhere. Aha. <clears throat> nice. Is there anything else we can do? Need help with those veggies? I learned a long time ago you're more help staying out of the kitchen than in it. Oh, burn. Nothing else you need, huh? Okay. <clears throat> now we can break and enter without a guilty conscience. Hmm. This office is locked. How do I get in there? Quietly. That's right. Get out of here, mofos. Mystery room. Uh-oh. Whoa, what the... High voltage lines. What needs this much power? I understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which 
is inaccessible. I will call you back as soon as I can get that information. No, I don't know when that will be. Yeah. You would break into the office. That room I saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Lee's parents. Looks like there's a keyhole in the frame. Mm -hmm. I Lee's parents abandoned him. Why build a shrine to the people who threw you away? This is the ghost story Lee's father read to him. About a demon that could only be mastered through balance. Remember, the old man said, only balance can master the demon's strength. Without balance, the monster will turn on any who attempt to control it. Cool. Lee did so much for New York. I can't believe he was hiding such darkness inside him. Yeah, he did do quite a lot. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> And he's got a BA. Lee's journal. Uh huh. Yoink. Bet this fits the lock in the portrait. <clears throat> Wilson Fisk has been arrested. I can barely believe it. The day I planned for, dreamed of, is finally here. But for some reason I hesitate. Can I really go through with this? Things will happen so quickly if I give the word. My men will claim Fisk's arms, his explosives, his secrets. We'll use that strength to teach Norman true pain. He'll know what it is to see things he loves destroyed by his own hands. <clears throat> but achieving that end will mean giving up so much. Everything I've built here at Feast. All the good I've done could be wiped out if my plan succeeds. My chance is here, yet still I hesitate. Should I turn back? Part of me wants to, but the demon is hungry. I don't think I'm strong enough to hold it back. Oh, Lee. <clears throat> huh. The shrine in the photo is missing the picture. Oh. Well, we got the key. Hmm. Some kind of Puzzle lock. Puzzle lock, huh? That seems right. One. Two. Three. Oh, yes. Four. Nice. <clears throat> Good job, Whoa. Peter Parker. Uh -huh. What are you hiding, Lee? Quite a lot, it seems. This is all about Norman Osborne. His whole career. Lee must have been obsessed with him. I guess he is obsessed. Oscorp lost a lawsuit about improper clinical trials years ago. Did they cover this up? I've never heard of it. Hmm. He sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? Pretended to be a demon until he became one. <clears throat> I don't think that was Jung's point. He's giving his powers to the others. How does he imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? Or magic? Hmm. Uh -huh. Can feel my power growing. Feeding off my anger. Father would say I've lost the path of balance that he could never understand. The only way to fight a monster <clears throat> is to become one. Nice. 
creepy. That is kind of creepy. <clears throat> this is the folder MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. Something to do with Devil's Breath. Uh oh. It's a burn room. Wired to destroy evidence. Where's the last one? Where's the last one? Oh, I see. You just have to hit it multiple times. <clears throat> the police had found this. Or May. Don't want to think of what could have happened. <laughs> yes. Through the floor grate. Ah, safe now, and sound. How do I get out of here? Nobody will ever know. <laughs> Hello, Peter. Uh oh. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. I get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard uh -oh. about City Hall. <clears throat> yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is you are both safe. Amen. Mm. The bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done. Hmm. Ominous. Oh, Lee, you're such a cliched bad guy. That's okay. Everyone deserves to be a cliched bad guy sometimes. Mm. Wait, wait, wait! Should have stuck around, Lee. You could have seen your goons get their asses kicked. <laughs> Captain Watanabe. I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named May Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack plan. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. Oh yeah, the evidence is gonna stand up. MJ, hey, just checking in. Peter, hey, can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool. See ya. Wait, remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, 
They had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah. See ya. Dinner? Huh. What should I cook? Hmm. What should you cook? Oh, hi, Doctor. How are you? Parker! Exciting news! Come by the lab! <clears throat> uh, like, now? This is my defining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool! Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Uh, okay. Be right there. Can do. Wonder if this means I have a job again. <clears throat> stop by just for a minute. Yeah, let's go watch uh, the dock descend into madness. Friends, today we have a very special caller breaking important news right here because where else? Mayor Osborne, thanks for calling in. No, thank you, Jonah. When you were publishing the bugle, you were always fair to me. Tough, sure, but fair. Well, that's my job, Mr. Mayor. All I have is my integrity, and I won't compromise it for anyone. Now, what's this crucial breaking news you're revealing for the first time anywhere on my show? Well, after the brutal, cowardly city hall bombing that almost claimed my life, it's clear our understaffed police department needs help. And I want to reassure the people of New York that I am providing it. Aha! I said it! You all heard me say we needed this. Are you using my idea of bringing in cops from Lake Placid? Ah, no. Though that was a fine idea. No, this would be a security contractor, much like the ones our military uses to assist our troops overseas. I can't name it until the contracts are signed, but their qualifications are impeccable. Well, that sounds terrific, Mr. Mayor. Though, of course, I'll have to reserve my tough but fair final judgment until I have all the facts. I'd expect nothing less. And let me stress, this is in no way replacing our brave officers of the law, just augmenting them in a way that cuts through the red tape and gets results. And results mm. are what we want. You know, I'm glad you're here. So I can share my theory on how Spider-Man may well be working with the demons. And a fascinating theory it is, I'm sure. But my doctors are advising me to get some rest now, so if you don't mind. Oh, of course. Thank you for calling in, Mr. Mayor. My lines are open for you anytime. Jared, did you hear? Tough, but fair! That's our new slogan. I don't care who else is using it! Don't care! Okay, let's go see the doc. <laughs> And we can do uh, some of these little side thingies while we're here as well. <clears throat> beep beep. Hey, Doctor. Hello, Peter. I'll be just a minute. Wow. Look at all this new stuff. Hmm. Did we get a new suit? Yeah, but we can't get it <clears throat> just yet. Let's buy that. Let's buy that. Can we upgrade our gadgets? Ooh. Nah, we need challenge tokens. We've got two levels to spend, though. Thrown objects damage all nearby enemies. That sounds pretty good. Do that. <clears throat> so that when we disarm someone, we throw the end result back at them. Parker, we've been focused on limb replacement. Connecting nerves at severed extremities. Replicating the function of lost appendages. But what if instead... We gave people something they'd never seen. Something 
straight from the mind. Unchain all of us from the bodies we've been born with, and instead, unleash the awesome power of our minds. It's a good idea, Doc. Hmm. What was Doc working on with this? <clears throat> Great conductivity. Not sure about long term wear and tear, though. Might delaminate easily. Yes. Doc was testing the biocompatibility of graphene. High cytotoxicity. Not sure mm. it uses this tissue interface. <clears throat> yeah, that cytotoxicity can be a bitch. Running tests on carbon nanotube biocompatibility. Nice. I feel like this is wrong, but let's do it. And then... Yeah, that's not it. <clears throat> Not too bad. Decent candidate for a direct tissue interface, but I feel like we can do better. I like these. They're good fun. Hmm, graphene. But the structure is super unique. What is this? Try that, combined with that, and that. Yes. Oh, awesome. It's been nano latticed. Wow, that's strong. Mm -mm. Could be a great structural element for a prosthetic. Tasty nano lattice. Messing around with superconductors. That's classic dog. Um, nope. Um, nice. Then <sighs> mm. 
Nice. And then this one, okay. Easy. Very cool. Complex oxide ceramic. Perfect type 2 superconductor. It'll run hot, but maybe good for an outboard controller? Hmm. Some kind of polymer. Hmm. Nice. And then... Oops. Uh, nope, that's not gonna work. <clears throat> that will. And then hopefully these remaining three make that, which it looks like they will. Nice. <clears throat> Job well done. This is awesome. A self-healing polymer. This stuff will survive almost anything. Wicked. Just two more to do, but they're locked. It's not going to let us do those. I guess we need to talk to Doc, but let's look around. We really need to get better about organizing our workspace. Coming up with logos. I like it. <clears throat> I think this is our office. Really glad Doc let me store things here after the whole eviction thing. Oh, Peter! I noticed you keep track of Spider-Man's foes. Smart. Easier to craft countermeasures that way. Gonna miss that humorless grimace. Mob enforcer turned walking tank. Rhino's racked up enough property damage to destroy Manhattan three times over. The vulture might be the smartest guy up on this wall. Not smart enough to duck three consecutive life sentences, of course, but still pretty brainy. Huh. Electro was the first legit super-powered villain I fought. Till then it had been regular guys in fancy suits. Electro was a big change. Big change. Last time I fought Scorpion, he asked if I knew what my skull looked like from the inside. Then offered to show me. Super fun guy. Mmm. <clears throat> what else can we find? Let's snoop Man, around. I remember the first day I interviewed here. Showed up with stains on my shirt, ten minutes late from stopping a mugging. Still can't believe Doc hired me. Hope he doesn't regret it now. Why the same? He is right, of course. If you're getting a prosthetic, <clears throat> why would it have to be an arm? You could do so much better. In some sad, sick way, the City Hall attack may have done some good. Norman's approval ratings are sinking. The people are starting to realize their beloved mayor only cares about himself. Sometimes it takes a tragedy to wake people up to the truth. To finally see the monster they themselves elected. Wish Doc wouldn't fixate on Norman like this. Yeah, it's a little crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're ready. The work has progressed at a remarkable pace. I honestly never thought we'd get the tensile actuated back to an acceptable tolerance. But Parker, the boy has an eye for guerrilla science like none other. 
Just as I was ready to order a custom machine replacement part, he returned from the hardware store with a bottle of solvent and a toothbrush. Bang! Actuator problem resolved. The boy is a genius. Wonder if I could 3D print a web shooter. Can't believe I've never tried that. Hmm. It's a lot of 3D printers. Okay, let's talk to him. Hey, dude. Oh. <clears throat> Where did you get all this equipment? Called in every last favor. Took out a few loans. It's like we're starting over once again. But this time's going to be different. Our first volunteer subject, Lance Corporal Texador. Lost his arm overseas and now just wants to hug his daughter again. With a robot arm. You've been busy. Just getting started. You know, until now, we've been looking at prosthetics from the wrong perspective. Why restore people to what they were when we can make them better? Okay, I think that should do it. Ready? <laughs> Don't go crazy, Doc. Everything okay? This is all your fault, Norman, you son of a- Can't really blame Norman for that one. He's really starting to stretch well, it with his Norman blame. Action. Sorry. I uh, have a habit of making bad jokes in tense situations. <clears throat> uh, it was a good joke, Parker. Just a bit of an overreaction on my part. No, don't worry. Why don't you take a break? I'll, uh, I'll clean this up and uh, get us ready for another test. I ain't cleaning up shit. So, uh, don't do it. Hope you don't mind me asking, but it seems you and Norman have a bit of a history. We were lab partners in college. Became friends. Decided to start a business. We both had visions of changing the world just in different ways. Wait, you were at Oscorp when it started? I'm half the reason it's called Oscorp. In grad school, everyone called us the O's. <sighs> Add Corp to that and, well, it is a catchy name. Well, why'd you leave? Norman became more and more obsessed with genetics. He started a project I considered unethical. And there was this Anyway, lawyers got involved. I chose to leave in exchange for a settlement. But that money didn't last very long. I've relied on grants ever since. If this project doesn't work... Don't worry. It'll work. Uh, let, me, let me just fix this up. I'll brew some fresh coffee. It will work. Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. No, don't tell me what to do, Otto. Okay, we need to reduce oh. the voltage by one. Oh, good. Gotta reroute this circuit. We can do that. <clears throat> it needs to be, what, five? So for five, we can do... Five plus four. Then we can do the old <coughs> wormaroo. And then do minus four. Nice. Oh. 
Oh, why don't you do the honors this time? Okay. <clears throat> you did spaz out last time. I think we did it. Next step, neural interface. That's a lot of work for you to do by yourself. Sure you can handle it? Apparently not, judging by today's debacle. Because I still haven't found another job. My funds are still... I know. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll figure it out. What's a few bucks when you're trying to change the world, right? To changing the world. Yeah. Not only are you going to help a madman become a super villain, but you're not even going to get paid. Doctor, <clears throat> I need to go, but I'll be back later. Don't worry, the work will still be here when you get back. Okay. What's that? That's what? All right. What is this stuff, Doc? Looks like armored plating. Defense prototypes. Fascinating, really. AIM has requested a number of samples of my work. Who am I to deny them my genius? Ah, kidding, of course. Yes. <clears throat> of course. Of course he's kidding. Is there anything else in here? <clears throat> nah. We could do uh, the rest of those electro circuits, but we'll wait until they're all unlocked and do them all in a one -er. <clears throat> We'll go on an electro circuit spree. <clears throat> For now, let's go and uh, have lunch with Mary Jane. Hey, sorry I missed your call. We still on for dinner? Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but... Yeah, we should talk over dinner. Offer still stands for me to come over and cook. Oh, really? Well, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. Okay, talk soon. All right, hmm. dinner at MJ's. No expectations. It'll be hard to screw this one up. I guess I'll just freelance for a while until she calls. But we don't have any freelancing to do. Well, actually, no, there's one thing we can do. Are we in danger? Go on your face already, you friggin' vigilante! Mayor Hybers, hires Sable International. Are those boots or like... <gasps> we can keep reading the papers until we run out, and that'll let us know how far throughout the story we are. Any more? I know, I'm a jerk! No, we're still at 10. F you, dude. You ain't killing shit. Call this guy an ambulance. Hope they can help him. Damn right. <clears throat> so we've done about a third of the story so far, based on those newspapers. We've not really got anything else we can do now. So let's head to where is it? Where's MJ's house? That's his former apartment. Where's MJ's? Do we not have it on our map yet? I guess we're just going to have to swing around until they say, OK, I'm ready now. This is the point where the game expects you to do <coughs> side quests and stuff, but we've already done it all. so. I guess we'll just kill time by doing some fat tricks.
That's what I want. Come on, MJ. Hurry up and get home. We don't have time for this crap. There's a reason why I'm running around this building. A valid reason, sort of. Almost be there now. Yay! Hey, there we go. All right, I picked up a bunch of stuff at the store. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Swinging over now. Prepare to be amazed. <laughs> uh, no new side quests have opened, have they? No. Okay, let's go for dinner with MJ. I'm not a taxi, I'm Spider-Man. Although he probably would make a pretty good taxi if he wanted to hire his services. I bet he could make a killing just airlifting people. you gave me? Mm -hmm. I went there. MJ. I know, I know, but wait. What is this? Just listen. Uh -huh. Flashback time. Earlier in the day. Nice and vague. This is the address <clears throat> Men are out carrying firearms. What is this place? Mm. Mm -hmm. That office. Might be something inside that connects this to Lee. Need to get back there. Huh? What was that? What dumbass can't put this shit away? Bet it was happy. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh, he stepped on the glass. Okay. So what's the boss doing with the what money are from they building? Is this all for Lee? What are they building? All their cash is going straight into trade. You tried any yet? Boss is still perfecting the recipe. You. Hehehe, <laughs> stupid guys. He does it. Uh, what kind of vehicle needs tires this big? Uh, a tractor. Where is it? Maybe Lee wants to open a farm. Uh oh. Anyone seen the 316 socket driver? Wait! Ah! Oh, I screwed the pooch. Where is it? I swear I left it over here. Okay. Let's be a bit more cautious this time. 
Yo, has anyone seen the 316 socket driver? Sorry guys, I haven't seen any 316 socket drivers. Hey, I heard Ah! I should have waited. I should have held off. Has anyone seen the 316 socket drive? Yo, has anyone seen the 316 socket driver? No, I haven't seen your stupid socket driver. Uh, uh, there we go. What is this? Some kind of military hardware? There's the office. A lot of men in the way, though. Hmm. Hey, anyone pick up one here after our last run? Protecting trade secrets. Doesn't want any word on grave dust leaking out. So, grave uh, dust? Who asked you? Get back to work. <laughs> yeah. Minotaur. Those barrels seem important. Alchemax. Why is that so familiar? <clears throat> grave dust. Grave dust. There's been no mention of grave dust so far. What's in these? Boss, come on. We will never notice. Yo. Oh shit. You're right, Rick. Won't notice. Cause it won't be there. God damn it! I said I'll fix it! You got some stones, Rick. <laughs> Let's see if they break. Damn. Such a disappointment. He's straight up bulletproof. And now I need a new welder. Yeah. That's what happens when you murder your crew. <clears throat> You're just going to encourage ineptitude. Secret ineptitude. What? Everything okay. What was that? Come on now. Hate it. Blueprints. <clears throat> An APC. This is what they're building for Lee. Oh, to fill it with poison gas. That's what he was all about, right? <clears throat> GPS trackers. What is Tombstone using these for? All right, boys. Time to move. Get the gear from my office. Time to go. Okay, I want to say don't ever do that again, but since I know you're going to anyway, here. Take a few of those next time. Nice. Thanks. You know Tombstone is crazy and pretty much invincible, right? Everybody has their weakness. Mine is... whatever you're cooking right now. <laughs> smells amazing. The chicken curry. Uh, just needs some time to simmer. No dumplings, I hope. You're never gonna let me live that one down, are you? Nope. <laughs> the great dumpling catastrophe. I still can't believe they evacuated the entire building. I went in January, too. Your neighbors hated me. Yeah, they were pretty happy when we broke up. <laughs> yeah. So, let's talk about what you found in Lee's office. Well, no, what didn't we find? He has issues with Norman Osborne. Yeah, but, but why? I don't know yet. But his next move looks like it involves Devil's Breath, whatever that is. Yeah. I'll dig into it. So I was thinking. 
What if we teamed up? You want to be my sidekick? Like a spider girl? Spider woman. No. Woman. No, not a sidekick. A partner. Oh. Not again. Hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break in. She residential. Mm, it sounds familiar. Mm. Oh, Oscorp CFO. Wait. You don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? <laughs> Sorry to cook and run. Did, did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Uh... Where, where do you want me to go? Uh... Just the couch is fine. <laughs> See you later? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Wicked. Let's go and explore this residential building. CFO, though. Should have plenty of cash. Okay. We are leveling fast now. Hey, it's me. This curry is legit. So what do we know about Charles Standish? Let's see. Chief Financial Officer at Oscorp. Single. Known for his art collection. If Lee's after him, it's got to be related to Devil's Breath. I'll run a search on everything in that file. Let me know the second you find something. I think Lee might be planning something even worse than City Hall. So are we partners now? Because it sure feels like we are. Partners. Uh, sounds good. Okay. See ya, partner. Yeah. Sure thing. Wow, Lee is not subtle. Police look like they could use some help. Nah, they got it. You know what? We'll help. Spider bro, get them. Give me a break for that explosive scrap. Little spider box, go get them. Probably more of them inside. You guys stay here. Yeah, we'll handle this. It's what we do. <clears throat> Let's go and screw with Miss Lee's plans. <laughs> Somebody was in a hurry. You're not a bad guy. You're hurt. I'm okay. But you gotta find Mr. Standish. Fast. Those guys in the masks kidnapped him and forced him up to his place. He lives in the penthouse. Top floor. Okay, sit tight. So glad you're here. I can't find my car. Could have sworn I parked on this level. Sorry, guys. Right. Ooh. Get out of here, shield guy. I got time for your crap. Oh shit, there's even more. F you, dude. Sorry, man. Any more? 
Ooh, wow. Good job, Spider Bro's back up. Get him, Spider Bro. We'll deal with these crappy ones. Good job. That little robot, super useful. Oh, come on. Wait, you guys work here too? This building is serious about parking enforcement. I ain't got time for your crap, dudes. Nice. Good fight. A for effort. Hmm. C for effort. The elevator won't work. They know I'm here. But maybe I can sneak up through the elevator shaft. <clears throat> Good idea. Let's do it. Should be able to make it up to the penthouse from here. Let me up. Aha. Okay. Almost there. Nice. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Too easy. Nice easy. <clears throat> okay. Tall building. Oh shit. Seriously? Move. Uh oh. Don't sweat it, Spider-Man. Not good. Nice. Okay, you can get off the wall now. Uh -huh, time for some stealth. There's Standish. Okay, now what? Enter your password. Mr. Lee sucks. <laughs> he sounds nervous. One should take him out. How many are there? A significant amount. That's okay though. We've got plenty of room to hang them all. As long as we're cautious about it, <clears throat> we should be fine. <laughs> you just gotta not get them when it says danger. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> Good one, Pete. <laughs> oh, come on. More guys. Ugh. Sorry, big guy. Ooh, right in the face. Nice. Hmm. Must have almost got them all now. Any left? Two. Two, huh? They're in an awkward position. Whew! It's just about nap time. Nice. 
Okay, all clear. Hope <sighs> Stannis is alright. Yeah, I'm sure he's fine. Oh, come on. Not cool, dude. Dodge their attacks, then counter attack. Okay. Yeah, a few demon sword guy. You know what? Get him, Spider Bro. Try this again. Yeah. <clears throat> Hopefully they'll leave us alone this time. It's safe now. What were they after? Just financial records. About mm -hmm. Devil's Breath? How do you know about that? Why do they want it? I don't even know what it is. Mr. Osborne's been pouring money into it for years, but he keeps the whole project a secret. I'm the only one who has any record of it. Not anymore. Looks like they copied some records to a secure server. Uh -oh. information on a Dr. Isaac Delaney. Who is he? I, I honestly don't know. Down! Oh shit. <laughs> come on, come on! <laughs> Wait, the elevator! <gasps> oh dear. Hold on! You'll be fine, dude. so good good you know as elevator shafts go this is pretty nice <laughs> yeah apart from the fire but that's temporary temporary hmm <clears throat> Yeah, but I didn't get much out of Standish before these Sable guys stepped in and told me to back off. What's the deal? I get the sense all they care about is keeping him quiet. Because he knows about Devil's Breath. Right. Whatever the hell that is. I'm working mm. on that. I think I just got a lead. A lead? You sound like a cop. Don't you mean... Spider Cop? Uh, Yuri? That's fair. Okay. Peter, what happened with Standish? He's safe. Okay, good. And the demons? They were looking for a name. You got a pen? Yeah, go. Dr. Isaac Delaney. Okay. Who is he? What's his deal? I was hoping you could tell me. I'm on it. Just give me a few. Oh, and before I forget, you left that tracker from Tombstones at my place. I'll drop it at Dr. Octavius's lab. Let you know what I find on Delaney. Okay. New side mission. Uh. <clears throat> New side mission, huh? Where? Oh yeah, we leveled. Um, throwing objects damage all nearby enemies. That sounds alright. Press L1 and R1 to throw rockets back at enemies. Sold. And then... <clears throat> Let's get that just because we can afford it. Yeah, I was going to missions. Captain Leotard. <laughs> I like that. Wow, they set up checkpoints and everything. 
Those guys mean serious business. Okay, let's do the side mission. As everything else is pretty quiet right now. But first, let's read the newspaper. Wicked. Message from Doc. Sorry to call so late. My mind's bursting with ideas. We've been thinking too small, Peter. Why replace missing limbs with facsimiles when we can improve upon them? People who've lost an arm understandably want it back, but we can give them something better. The human body doesn't need to be our default. We can go so far beyond it. Just some thoughts to conjure with. Like Doc's an really giving it both barrels. Octopus he body. Burn himself out. Perhaps. <clears throat> While I'm here, I should examine the transmitter MJ found. Uh, yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> Here's Psycho Man's lab. If I can reverse engineer this, it should track Tombstone's shipments. Okay, target voltage five. Okay, three plus three, so that gives us six. Minus two gives us four. Minus one. Now we just need to link them up. <clears throat> Easy. Almost That's too to easy. Time for a <clears throat> test run. Okay. Time for a test run. Maybe this will uh, open a new unlockable as well. Take pictures of landmarks to earn landmark tokens. Yeah, we already did all that. Okay. Just gotta follow the signal. Should lead to whatever it is Tombstone's moving. Okay. Tombstone. This guy's the mother of all headaches. Impermeable skin plus zero morals equals bad time. Hope running a chop shop's the worst thing he's up to. Let's go find this truck. I saw a bad guy on the radar for a split second there. There it is, it's the truck. <clears throat> that truck. Yoo-hoo! Here, have a bike. Ah, 
I'm no scientist, but I'm fairly sure having a bike thrown at you at that kind of speed would cause permanent damage. Biker gang down. Let's see what's in that truck. Uh, chemical <clears> containers. <throat> They're scrubbed clean. Hmm. Looks like they came from the Alchemax plant in Harlem, but what was in them? Let's go to Alchemax. And that sound means the end of our lightning round. Should head to Alchemax when I get a chance and find out what was in those barrels. Tombstone's up to something. Probably illegal, definitely dangerous. We have a chance now. Where's Alchemax? Hey, do you have time to check something out for me? No, but if you ask nicely... Just got a call about a suspicious looking box on a rooftop in Hell's Kitchen. I could call in the bomb squad, but if it's just some kid's science project... Yeah, I know. Budget crisis. Yada, yada, yada. So... Uh, will you... please... check it out? There's the magic word. I hope it's some kid's science project. Man, I miss those days. School projects are so much easier than real-life projects. You're telling me, Spider-Man. Uh, so where's Alchemax? Maybe we unlock that side quest later. Oh no, Alchemax. Let's do it. Let's go check it out. <clears throat> we can check out the box later. Your costume's out of date, dude. Let's do it. Hopefully we can stealth Here's these the enemies. Plant. I got an interesting tip today. Remember that barbaric beast named the Rhino? Apparently last night he almost escaped from his cell in the raft. How, you ask? Well, no one there seems to know, but they assure me he's been relocated to a more secure cell. Now, I'm no expert on Supermax prisons, but isn't the whole point of them that there isn't anything else more secure? I mean, he's a 700-pound maniac with an indestructible horn. If there's a more secure cell, why wasn't he in it? Jameson, as always, you bring up a valid point. <clears throat> okay. Huh, good timing. Tombstone's men are loading fresh supplies. What for, though? Is he getting back into drugs? They're heavily armed. This might be easier if I stay quiet. Hell yeah. Yoink. <laughs> Let's leave those guys to last. <clears throat> Why is he not safe? get him from here? No. Guess we'll just have to do it the old fashioned way. Now oh, we can use some of these actually. <laughs> I like doing that. Instead of putting the tripwires on the ground, you put them on the enemies. 
<clears throat> it's a good way to get two enemies at once if you're really pro about it. Hey, Jake, Yank. Jake is not good. Guy just chilling. Who's going to wake Jake up? That guy. <clears throat> okay. We can get this guy as he walks past the truck. Of course they're webs. You act like you've never seen a Spider-Man before. <clears throat> huh? We got a spider problem! Done. Tombstone's men are down. Now to find out what's in these barrels. Yeah. <clears throat> Mountain Dew. Diox three. Isn't this the chemical Tombstone was exposed to as a kid? What's he doing with it now? Oh shit. Yeah. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> like how that guy's like. <laughs> Come on, man. I just went to all the effort of stealthing you guys. After all the effort I went through to stealth a fight, they had to go and ruin it for me. You know what? Screw you guys. Oh, son of a bitch! Oh, no you don't. <clears throat> Who's left? <clears throat> Just this guy. There we go. Bad feeling those drug inhalers and the Diox 3 are related. Should analyze an inhaler to find out what's going on here. Okay. All right. What's in you? <laughs> the marijuana's. <clears throat> One. Two. <clears throat> Three. Diox three plus designer amphetamines. Pretty clever recipe for temporary invulnerability. I'm impressed. And worried. This stuff hits the street and there'll be a huge market for it. With Tombstone- <clears throat> Oh yeah! There. Single dose of the counter drug. Just need to test it out. Hmm? I think my stream went down for one second there. 
Is it back? Maybe I should pay Tombstone a visit at his chop shop. Is it back? It is back. Tombstone! And the crowd goes wild. The internet connection is currently not sufficient to broadcast gameplay. Okay. In that case, I'll uh, end it here. And uh, come back potentially later. Once my internet sorts itself out. <clears throat> so, next time, we'll beat Tombstone. Uh, catch you later, guys.